Hi Libra, welcome to my channel. This reading for today, Libra, this is a collective tarot reading session for you, Libra. I hope you are doing well. I hope you're finding safe and doing good. This reading for today, this is for the Libra sign. Let us see what is happening towards you, Libra. What is the guided message that is meant for you to know? I'm ready for you to know. This is for the Libra sign. Thank you so much, guys, for being here. Thank you so much, guys, for supporting the channel. If you would like to further connect with me, please do click the bell. Click subscribe. So I'm channeling the last week of October and the early part of November, okay? Let's pick up love, career, and general situationship. What is going on with the Libra sign, please? What can I get for the Libra sign, please? Thank you guys for your support. Thank you guys for being here. Let us see what's coming towards you. What is the guided message for the Libra sign? You have the King of Cups. You have the Ace of Wands. You've got the Three of Pentacles in here. The Star card. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. Devil card. Oh, wow. This Full House. The Seven of Swords. Let's look at your focus, your situation, and what's coming towards you, okay? This is the last week of October up until the month of November. And let's start your reading. So, you're starting the reading with... Oops, sorry. Sometimes I don't look at the camera. So, all right. I think that's better. So, you're starting the reading with a King of Cups and the Ace of Wands. I feel like the King of Cups, I feel like this is you. Let's see who's the King of Cups. The Nine of Cups, the Four of Wands, someone miss you, and the Princess of Cups. I feel like Libra, if you are into a dating or a getting to know, or it could be a friend, okay? It could be a friend. It could be a friend or it could be a love interest. Um, the universe is advising you to reach out, okay? The universe is advising you to reach out to this person. I'm kind of picking up that it's your time to reach out, Libra. Yeah, the Princess of Wands. Someone really miss you and you also miss them. There's a childlike energy in here. It feels like the reason why you're not talking is because of something petty. Or it's more of like, both of you would like to respond, reply, see. Very guarded. Who's going to reach out? Let's ask. Because I'm kind of picking up, you want to reach out. You want to be the bigger person. And this person is also wanting to reach out, wanting to be the bigger person. But you guys, you guys are both guarded. It looks like you might want to do that. Let's see. Let's get an advice. Who's going to reach out, please? It could be a, a best friend or it could be a love interest in here. Yeah, it's the hangman. Yeah. Okay. The six of wands, the justice card. Your card is here. The knight of swords. Look, they're watching you. Someone of a friend or a love interest is watching you and they're watching you. I don't know, for some reason, the justice card in here is my question is, will you reach out? And um, it looks like you might want, it looks like you're the one who's being advised by the universe. State it, say it, reach out, Libra. Life's too short, reach out. That's the vibe. Now, the second part of the reading, this is a bit deep. The star card, the devil card, the seven of swords. I would say right after the eclipse, okay? Because this could be like a friend, you know? The second reading, it's really about your relationship to the world, to yourself, to friends, to family, to love interests, to money, your relationship to life. So... I feel like Libra, you're such, like something tells me 
we have two months to close off 2023 and it looks like if you want to achieve more and experience the most fulfilling 2023 if you want your 2023 2023 to be most fulfilling unforgettable the star card don't lose your fate do not lose your focus because I don't know, but I'm really picking up that the universe will blast you with something that you have to dare to bear your soul, okay? So there's going to be opportunities from the past, opportunities from clashing people, but that very, those opportunities that will return and those opportunities that will challenge you, they're opportunity for expansion, okay? Um from after the eclipse it's not after the eclipse libra which is happening october 28th the universe will give you people situation interaction creative thoughts creative interest especially in relationship and love interest those people you come across they will bring you growth they will bring you expansion they will challenge you too but there's growth after the challenge. So with the star card, the devil card, the seven of swords, the universe would like you to take a look at it as like a hermit card. It's meant for you to experience it. It's no longer a karmic lesson. So November to December, the following opportunities, the, the following opportunities, people, situation, especially coming from the past, people coming from the past, their temperance card it means they're not coming back to you to piss you off or to cheat you or to give you a karmic lesson they're coming back to you to develop okay to develop growth and the 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 death card in here speaks about the missing link to growing and developing the opportunities is making it materialize materializing it is you need to bear like the universe is i'm gonna give you lots of interesting people opportunities but you need to dare like you need to take the dare you need to bear your soul to this situation people person that would be that would be coming to you like imagine you're talking to someone of a higher power i will give you this in exchange you have to interact with it okay so the universe telling you i'm gonna give you someone special or an offer but you have to dare to explore it maximize its full its full potential okay okay because it's it's the temperance card the death card it's a lot i'm picking up november october it's gonna be an interesting month after eclipse it's going to be an interesting month. New person, past person, new opportunities, previous opportunities. They're not karmic lesson. They're opportunities or situation that came back because you can grow it. It's divine timing. And there's still opportunity. You can grow it, but you have to bear your soul and explore. You need to put an effort and engage. Yeah. Look at that. The strength card. So there, there is a lot of people, person, situation that will connect with you. Eye on the prize. Like you could, it's possible that you've got history with them. You've got history. There's some background. But there's also a lot of opportunity to expand, to grow. It's mature. The strength card. The universe is really telling you, use, your, use the strength, the tiger in you, the tiger eye in you. Use your intuition and look past what's in the past okay when you look at these people you look at them as not a karmic lesson but opportunity again yeah yes look at that ten of pentacles i'm i'm picking up right after the eclipse there's gonna be an intriguing there's gonna be an intriguing situation or person that would return they bring you a ten of pentacles this person serves as some the way you did the way you're dealing with the person in the past it was something exciting 
but there was also seven of swords in the devil card but now this person you can be reassured that there's no competition no hidden secret no hidden agenda the strength card the ten of pentacles you're their target like there's an exchange of, of offers and messages in here and the outcome is a ten of pentacles yes it's a knight of wands who is this it's after the eclipse temperance card again and the king of pentacles and a seven of swords i'm getting a red flag that someone is going to return from the past and they're very flirt okay it means you will think of them as someone who's just going to confuse you there's a part of you that you're going to judge this person because of the history but they bring a 10 the temperance card if you connect with them and if you let them showcase what they're about to offer you will be impressed so the seven of swords before you eliminate you cut them or you delete them the universe is telling you please explore because there's a reason why we're bringing you back the sexy back <laughs> you're hiding the sword okay the queen of cups the ace of cups you're one one call away from happiness so there's gonna be a missed call okay there's gonna be a missed opportunity or a missed call right after the eclipse the universe is telling you to call back to reply back to explore like it's a metaphor they're gonna come around very charming you look at them with suspicious suspicion the universe is telling you put down your suspicion explore it call them back listen to them because i tell you they bring a different ace of cups this is the updated ace of cups looks like love or it looks like a boss or a manager it could be like a it could be connected to love or it could be connected to like a manager or someone connected to work yeah in the past i believe this person they've kind of underestimated your value right now they're returning and they would like to exchange message and they exchange vow exchange information you know like this person is in short transparent in the past you're not clear of what they want they will be transparent however in the process of really getting you excited they sound like a flirt which is you might not take them seriously and with the king of pentacles in here they won't so much chase you okay i'm kind of picking up this person they're very interested with you they sound like a flirt very very convincing they're convincing you a lot you might not be convinced first time they won't chase because that's how serious they are like i won't chase you because i'm really serious about this you've got to trust me and you've got history with this person nine of pentacles you know with the seven of swords in here yeah someone is going to return you've got suspicion because of the history if you've got worries and concern ask them directly because they are willing to tell you transparently an exchange of message that an ex because you're willing to bear your soul and so they are so they're willing to be transparent so they're comfortable to tell you everything just ask yeah i'm really picking up the word just ask they're very comfortable to bear everything towards you prepare libra you've got a match comfortable revealing something very special this is you reading libra thank you so much for connecting with me thank you so much for being here i will see you soon again guys you have a great day